Hi everybody, Andy here with eTrailer.com and today we're going to take a look at this Vitrofrigo Black Double Door RV Mini Refrigerator. Now this Italian made mini fridge and freezer is made with premium materials giving you structural integrity, operating efficiency, and a refined look. This fridge is actually designed for a built-in installation in your RV, your camper van, or boat. And it is constructed to withstand the rigors of off-road and marine conditions. This is built with a steel outer cabinet for stability and protection. And blown polyurethane foam inside is going to improve its energy efficiency with full coverage and it hardens for enhanced structural stiffness. Now this mini fridge is designed to operate at vehicle angles up to 30 degrees and you will wire this fridge into your 12, 12, uh, 12 volt, 24 volt uh, DC um, power. So that this is going to be a hard wire installation and this uh, also um, this does need adequate air circulation and heat dissipation so there should be about three inches of clearance from the side of the cabinet to the side of the fridge so you have that adequate uh, ventilation and the cabinet that you install this into should also be vented now the door hinges can be mounted on either side for left or right opening and we have actually found it easier to begin by removing the refrigerator door first so you'll uh, begin by removing the the hardware and the hinges and actually slide the door down and then you can uh, remove the freezer door as well and then move the hinges over onto the other side and then swap the handles and move them on the other side of the door and of course instructions are included to walk you through that process of swapping the hinges and the door latches. Speaking of the door latches, they do make a reassuring clicking sound as you can hear there uh, when you close this and um, so there, it's going to hold the doors secured when you have them closed. And this does feature a sliding locking vent and I want to give you an overhead closer view of that just so you can see that. So let me bring my uh, my fridge here into view. I'm going to come around here on the other side. And so as you can, uh, I'm going to open up our freezer door too as well. So as you can see right here, we have a sliding locking vent design with this uh, little latch here. And what this is, is going to allow you to do, this is going to be for your refrigerator door. So that is going to prevent the door from closing so that's going to allow proper airflow when you have this uh, in storage off season so you're not going to have to worry about it getting moldy or musty inside of there and we also have it for the freezer door as well and so I slid that to the closed position and so that's going to prevent the door from closing so that's a nice little addition that this mini fridge has so then when you slide that back over like that then you're going to be able to close the door and use it as normal. So uh, that is going to um, do a great job of making sure that uh, the inside stays um, free of mold and mustiness and it'll be ready to use uh, when you are next ready to use it. Now inside we have a total capacity of 5.3 cubic feet. And so in the fridge, our capacity is 4.3 cubic feet, and the freezer is one, point, uh, is one cubic foot. And uh, I, obviously I don't have this connected to power, but we do have a bright LED light that's going to make it easier to find your favorite snack, especially in the middle of the night. And you probably can see it here. Let me come around here. Our temperature control dial is going to be behind this drawer and so right there is our dial and that's going to allow you to control uh, the temperature of this unit. Now um, 
just to go over uh, some of the features of what we have inside, let me close the freezer door here and we'll just talk about the refrigerator sec the refrigerated section here first. Inside we have two adjustable wired shelves. And so they, they do hold securely, but then if you want to adjust it, you're just going to bring the back of the shelf uh, up so you can uh, easily detach it. And then you just need just position it wherever you want to. And we'll just put it here. And then push it, push it down there in the back and then that's going to lock it into place. So we have these uh, adjustable wired shelves and then below the shelves we have these uh, two clear produce drawers and it's covered with this tempered glass shelf. And then in the door, let me see if I can rotate this so you can see this a little bit better. We have three shelves here in the door and the middle one is adjustable. It uh, has a two positions that you can adjust this to uh, for uh, convenience, whatever you want to store in there. And then our lower shelf here, if you will notice, has a safety bar there. So um, you got quite a bit of storage options here, quite a bit of flexibility uh, in the refrigerated section. And then looking at the freezer section, again, uh, it's one cubic foot of uh, capacity there. We do have a ice tray that is included with this. And so um, it's gonna be great obviously for ice cream. That's what I would uh, load that compartment up with. And this has a one piece flange system that's going to set flush mount in your cabinet face. Hardware to mount this is not included with this. So that would be a separate purchase for you. And the doors require outs an outside opening position. And then looking back here at the, uh, the rear section again, uh, right here at the, the lower part of the, the rear of this unit, this, um, the, the hose for the, con the condensation hose is located at the lower rear of this unit and that must be allowed to drain freely. And there's, you're not gonna need a vehicle exterior vent uh, either uh, for this refrigerator when you install it. So as we wrap up our time together, just some overall dimensions. Looking at the overall width, including the flange, we're sitting at about 23 and 1 8 inches wide. Without the flange, we're sitting at about 21 and a quarter inches wide. The height with the flange, top to bottom, about 43 and 9 16 inches tall. And then without the flange, 43 and 1 8 inches tall. And then the depth, the overall depth with or without the flange, we're sitting right at about 22 and a quarter inches deep. And overall, this unit weighs about 90 pounds. Well, that's gonna wrap up our look today. I do hope that it was helpful for you. Again, my name is Andy. Thank you for joining me.